offered their services to the various castles that were stationed along the Sea of Terreno to protect the coast from pirates. This tale is about one of those castles. Hey, are you leaving already? Yeah, Tonio, it's time to move on. I hope we'll find the man you're looking for in this castle, because my feet are getting sore from all this walking. Someday we'll find him. Did you hear that, Rosa? My friends are leaving the tavern. Oh, what a shame. But they're only going as far as the castle. I wonder what's in store for them. Who knows? Maybe our luck will improve with this one. Two strangers approaching from the beach! We've heard that cry before. Always strangers, never friends. Here we go. Your Excellency, I'm a clever astrologer. I've come from afar to tell your fortune. I know all about the universe and the destinies of men. I know everything, and I shall tell you all, if you'll be lucky in love or unlucky in war. I shall name your friends and warn you of your various enemies, for I'm indeed a veritable genius, you see. So don't deny his entrance to the castle. Go away, beggar. This castle isn't intended for people like you. Today, Venus is against you, and Mercury is obscuring your path. No castle has ever denied us entrance and honors. This one will. The village tavern is where you belong. Go away, or I have the ears of you both. Hey, Mercury whispered to me that our luck is running out. Perhaps we'd better listen. No, don't worry. A few more tall tales and we'll be in the castle. We've never failed yet. And if you don't leave this minute, I'll have you rogues both tied to the dungeon rack. Captain Di Carmona. Have your men open the gate and escort them to my chambers. Open the gate.
things are happening here. The one who tried to kill the captain last night must have had a good reason. What is he like? Oh, just a boy. All the more strength that he would attempt such a thing. <laughs> but the captain has ways of finding out. I know. And how. Speaking of the captain reminds me of something, my dear Anselmo. His lazy soldiers eat far, far too much, you know. We must try to save. But I'm trying to do my best, Your Excellency, with the little you're giving me. Little? There seems to be enough when it comes to buying the finest of swords for Captain de Carmona. I admit that in the old contract, the arms and their upkeep were my responsibility. But I won't throw all of my money away on stakes and steel. You must save. My dear Baron, please remember that an army that fights well must be fed well, but then, of course, you know nothing, nothing about soldiers. Captain Di Carmona, what are you saying? On the contrary. I'd like to remind you, Baron, that I was called to Italy to serve under the Emperor Charles V. And then, if you are in doubt, read the battle records over the past ten years. The assault on the city of Pavia speaks for itself. Ah, Pavia. What a lovely city. They grow beautiful roses there. My concern is not with roses, but with cannons, and our powder is nearly exhausted. No! I'm not going to buy you anything more. You've been spoiled by serving Charles V, who is king of Spain, emperor, and as such is very wealthy. He can afford wars, but I can't. They cost too much money. Wars are expensive, but what do you suggest we do in case of attack? Now, the boy who broke into the castle last night, was he a thief or a spy? A spy for the enemy. If you don't buy gunpowder, we'll be at the mercy of even the pirates. If you had some, would you waste it on that young boy to make him talk? Why did you try to kill the captain? Who sent you here? Be quiet! I'd rather discuss roses, Captain. You see, I am a peaceful man. I'm afraid roses and words don't put powder in my cannons. Look, Baron, if you don't fire them, they get old, rusty, and useless. Oh, well. The whole castle is old and rusty. Anyway, you keep forgetting that I'm just a poor old Baron. Another thing, if you still have that silly thought of marrying my niece, Angela, I should warn you, my dear Captain, I am not going to give her any money at all. But uh, she will inherit the castle. Uh, don't hold your breath. I'm not dead, and I won't be for a long time. I can wait. Captain, the prisoner is willing to speak, but only with you. <laughs> Captain Alonso de Carmona is ready to listen to you. Speak up. Don't you recognize your own victims? Hugo and Berg. What did you say? When you threw me in jail, I was much younger. But I still found you, even if you did change your name. You're an assassin! Captain, shall I finish him? No. Torture him. He must talk. He knows my real name. And I must know his. Special courier from the Imperial House of Spain, I have been ordered to announce that Duchess Caterina, sister of our beloved Emperor Charles V, will honor your castle with her presence tomorrow for a few days' rest. Duchess Caterina? Oh, I'm delighted, but what have I done to deserve such an honor? Uh, may I ask just how many people are traveling with Her Grace? Uh, her Grace's lady-in-waiting, Marquis de Gredos, the Vicomte de Gon, an officer of the guards, a coachman, and ten uh, escorting horsemen. Oh, marvelous. It's a pity that an important matter calls me to... Uh, to Florence. That's right, to Florence. And you may announce to Her Grace that the Baron Don Alfonso de Camerlata will commence preparations immediately. Her Grace never doubted his hospitality. In fact, I was told to remain here in waiting. The captain's gone crazy. I can't afford that. This is a crisis. I must tell my niece. Where is she? I don't know. She's in her chambers, stargazing with that wandering poet. I'll tell her myself. Listen. 
Once upon a time, there were two hearts, very much in love, searching for each other in the heavens. In time, they finally met, and the force was so great that they broke into a million pieces, and each of them became a twinkling star. Oh, what a beautiful story. I only wish it were true. It's as true as I'm sitting here. Don't believe one word of it. It's just a lot of nonsense. It's not. When were you born? Well, 23rd of April. Why do you ask? What does it mean to you? A lot. The sign is Taurus, the bull, which makes you arrogant, quite conceited, and with a tendency to gossip. <laughs> He's right, Claire. Have more respect for my old age. <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to drink that. That's my hair lotion. <laughs> do you have any tales that are not so fantastic? Anything to make you happy. My friend here will oblige. Would you like to hear the story of that famous pirate, Nader el Din, the ghost of the Spanish Sea? Most certainly not, my dear fellow. Anyway, the Emperor's Navy is chasing him. <laughs> they might chase him, but they'll never catch him. <laughs> they say he's not really a man, but a huge, wicked creature. No, who says so? Why, all those who fought against him. Oh. That couldn't be. <laughs> a dead man don't talk. <laughs> Let's forget the dead and change the conversation. Your tales give me the shivers. She's right. Women are not interested in rogues. Love stories, that's what they like. We'd much rather hear a love song. Angela, would you? No, not now. Why not? I'm sure our guests would enjoy a song from you. Yes, Lady Angela, do be kind. Come on, Angela, sing for us, please. Would you play for me? I'll be happy to try. My strings are old, but now they have a new reason to sing. Sorry to interrupt such a beautiful concert, but I have very important news for you. Her Grace, the Duchess Katerina, sister of the Emperor Charles V of Spain, is due to arrive tomorrow at the castle. Your uncle needs you for final preparation. Duchess Katerina? She must be coming from Madrid. Oh, what lovely news, Captain. I hope she'll stay long enough for us to copy her clothes. I hope we'll have a banquet with music and dancing. Yes, yes. with a lot of extra work for us all. Come on, girls, oh, gather your things. Oh, I wish you could come up. Are you pleased with the news I've brought you? Yes, I'm always glad to see new faces in the castle. It seems to me that you're not even aware of the ones that are constantly around you. You, for instance. You should know my feelings, Lady Angela. Only too well. Your uncle is in a horrible mood. But still everything must be in order before the arrival of Her Grace. And as for you, poet, I would advise you to go. We're not all as hospitable as Lady Angela. I can see that. Ah, uh, and the Duchess. I would like to have met her. They say she's a sharp-looking woman. How dare you speak like that? Then she must be ugly. <laughs> if we were outside, I'd teach you a lesson. They are my guests. You are in my room. So behave accordingly. I hope you'll forgive his bad manners. He was probably born under the sign of the mule. <laughs> We're in a hurry. Let's go. <laughs> Keep an eye on the captain for me. Why didn't you leave with the others? I couldn't leave such a beautiful lady, sad and alone. I'm not sad anymore. Besides, I enjoyed your company. I'd be more inclined to believe you if I hadn't been watching you while you were singing. Your eyes gave you away. How can I help you? 
by telling me a story. I know many, Angela, but I'm afraid not all of them are true. I wouldn't believe them anyway. Oh, I see. I bet you don't even believe in the stars. And there you are wrong. Oh, I believe in my destiny. And I can tell you what's in store for me. I will live all my life alone in this castle with a wild desire to escape, to be free, like you. <laughs> Angela, complete freedom is never as wonderful as it sounds. What would you say if I told you I would gladly exchange my freedom for your peace and tranquility? Let's say tranquility makes me sad. Look, no beautiful lady should ever be so sad. Come on, smile for me. <laughs> a smile is too little a reward for your gentleman. Oh, no, for I'll carry your smile with me throughout Europe. Why do you travel so much? Well, I'm looking for a face to fit a name. A woman's? A man, my enemy. Is it so important? More than anything. Ah, here. I want you to have this, something to remember me by. And try smiling, it becomes you. under a spell or is it the other way around oh, don't be ridiculous claire i only met him this morning and he's just a vagabond oh but a very handsome one listen claire i must get away from here are you going away with him or because of him neither one but i know i just can't marry the captain you must help me escape and where would you go anywhere Maybe Duchess Katerina needs another lady in waiting. Don't worry, my child. There's always a way out. As long as you keep smiling, it becomes you. <sighs> Funny you'd say that. That's just what he said. Left! Up! Right! Left! Up! Right! Left! Up! Right! Left! Up! Right! Well, look who's here. Come on, boys, let's have some fun. <laughs> one poke at that fat one and he'll be played. Are you sure? Let me try. <laughs> Sorry, men, we have no time for games. Come on, let's go. No, oh, no, I'm here for that lesson I promised you, remember? Well, I hate to deprive you of your fun, but we're in a hurry. We have to go. Well, I'm sure you can spare a minute or so. <laughs> or haven't you ever held a sword before? I guess it's never too late to learn. <laughs> and now I shall cut off your ears, like this! You're a rascal, and I should have beaten you, but it'll be quite enough to give you a good fright. Like this! And this! I'll make you gaze at the stars. Ask your god Mercury to protect your place from this! Uh, <laughs> my flank is not a block of wood. This looks like a dangerous game. Well, if we ever meet again, I'll be sure to keep this lesson in mind, Captain. I'm afraid next time the Captain won't be in such a good mood. Get this scum out of here. <laughs> such a hit in the head I'll give him. Don't just stand there, you fool. Get back to your post. Resume your exercises. Ready? Right. Left. Right. Here. Left. Up. Is that you, Claire? Left. Up. Well? Right. Left. What are you doing in here? How dare you enter my room? I order you to leave immediately. Can't you understand? Get out! Get out! Don't chase me away. I haven't the patience of a saint. How long do you think I can wait? You know I want to marry you. Never. I'd rather enter a convent. I won't let you. I want you for my own. Don't fight me, Angela. Just one kiss. Get out. Leave me alone. Help! Help! Captain de 
Carmona, what are you doing in this room? Can't you see your presence is troubling my lady? I'm old enough to order you to leave. And if you don't, I'll be very happy to help you out with this across the face. I think you would be better off having me as a friend than as an enemy. You're right, Angela. It's best you leave, for you'll never be safe from the captain. I'll ask Duchess Caterina to help you when she arrives. of my gunpowder, and the very last of my money will go for tonight's banquet. I didn't recall ordering those cattle. You didn't, but it's the only proper way to greet a duchess. honored to have your grace as a guest at the castle of Camelata. Thank you. I hope I'll find peace and rest here. Lady Angela Carmelata, my niece, Captain Di Carmona, head of the castle guards who has served in the wars under your illustrious brother. My lady-in-waiting, Marquise de Gredo, and my faithful friend and escort, Vicomte de Gant. Honored. This way, your grace. What are you doing here? Get out of the way! Go back to the village tavern, and if your friends have sent you to steal, tell them to wait outside the walls, for the scraps will throw them after the banquet. Hard-boiled egg for her grace. An egg? Yes, one egg. One egg for her Nicola. highness, one. Nicola, go ahead. Eat and rejoice, one and all. May the food bring you pleasure, and may the wine pour joy into your heart. For this banquet is in honor of our imperial guest, the Duchess... <laughs> in honor of Duchess Catherine of Spain and the host of Baron de Camerlata. So eat and rejoice, my ladies and gentlemen. because the captain has been too busy with the arrival of the Duchess to bother about you. Why don't you tell him what he wants to know? Then he'll just... and end your suffering. Uh, 
Life can be funny at times. Ah, we gotta beat you to make you talk. My wife, I gotta beat her to make her shut up. I was wondering, Viscount, if Duchess Katerina could find room in her court for me. Would you mind asking her, please? Yes. I'll even put in a good word for you. And once you get to Madrid, you'll understand why they say our court is the richest in Europe. Who was the caterer? Well, I'm certainly impressed with your hospitality. And you can be sure I'll mention it to my brother when, uh, when I return to the court in Madrid. Thank you, but I'm afraid the emperor is too busy to notice me. Yes, you're quite right. These days, Charles is so worried about that new territory that was recently discovered by that adventurous Italian sailor. I can never remember his name. Ah, Columbus. <laughs> he went out looking for one land and found another. Has your highness ever been there? I? Oh, certainly not. I've heard it's a country only inhabited by red-skinned savages that shoot arrows and collect human hair. They dance with practically nothing on. And if it weren't for the gold they have, we wouldn't even bother about them. Well, frankly, I can't understand why Columbus ever wanted to leave Europe. It's so nice here. Oh, it was my grandmother Isabella's bright idea. That Columbus just fast talked her into the trip. And she even supplied him money in the ships to cross the ocean. A very costly expedition. Oh, come, Viscount. Let's be honest. Only three cockle shells and a few provisions. That land cost my grandmother a little less than 5,000 gold pieces. 5,000 gold pieces? It's still quite a lot of money. Oh, what? What's going on? I thought we were all out of powder. Who gave the order? That's a cannon shot, and certainly an eight-inch shot from a Turkish foundry. And it sounds to me like a warning shot, but it's only a blank. Oh, we'll all be killed. I wouldn't worry if I were you. Maybe it's my brother fighting again with Francis I. Oh, these men at war can be such terrible bores. Your Highness. Yes? I really hate to tell you this. What is it? But there's a boatload of pirates Hi, flying a black flag. Just a few hundred yards offshore. The shot must have come from their ship. Oh! discomfort and promises your lives will be spared if you open the gates within one hour and if you don't accept the ultimatum he'll give the signal our ship will open fire and the attack will commence then may your god have mercy on you for your only way out will be plunder and death your threats don't scare us you tell your leader we've told you the arms to counter his attack <laughs> remember one hour did you say Nadir al -Din? yeah Nadir al -Din, the pirate that's exactly what I said Nadia, listen, I've got to get away from here. <laughs> no, no, don't laugh at me. I'll give you plenty of gold. You'll be rich. You can follow me and kill me if I don't keep my promise. But help me escape. <laughs> what are your eyes of gold underneath the dungeon stones? You really think I'm such a fool? Baron, why don't you fire and blow their heads off with your cannons? <laughs> Because I just can't, and I hope you'll forgive me, but the pirates have placed me in a very awkward position, for I lack the proper means to defend us from their attack. What do you mean? Well, we used the last of our gunpowder to announce your arrival. I appreciate your thoughtfulness, but your stupidity puts us at the mercy of a handful of pirates. Gentlemen, our lives are in grave danger, but it's up to you to do something to save us. Take 
obeyed him, you stubborn dog. Why can't you obey orders like the rest of us? When you were given the order by our leader and our dear not to steal from the villagers, he fully expected you to carry it out. But it was my right. Yeah? How did you figure it was your right? Will you the take me with you when you go away? Now, dear, wants them unharmed. But you disobeyed because you're jealous. You'd like to be our leader. We'll settle this argument when we've occupied the castle. In my estimation, it's foolish to defend the castle. Mm. It's much better to attack. It is a wise rule of strategy. My good friend, the Duke of Maison. Blast the Duke of Maison. We don't dare expose the Duchess to the risk of an open battle or the dangers of a shelling. The only sensible way out of this is to try to come to terms with a pirate. Never. We aristocrats are above making terms with barbarians. Why don't we just tell them to go away and leave us alone? And give them gold, perhaps? Well, isn't that a bright idea? <clears throat> Idiot. Thank you. And you keep out of this. I didn't say you'd be the one to deal with the pirates or to pay them. Don't worry, the money will come out of my purse. Unfortunately. No, I'll send my own men, my very clever Anselmo and my very faithful Nicole. I'm sure they'll be able to carry out this difficult mission to the satisfaction of all concerned. Hmm. The Baron's coat of arms. Huh. They don't look uh, very impressive. But we might as well try. Let's not waste any more time. Oh, dear. Gentlemen, that's the last warning. from the castle. Have they made up their minds yet? My lord and master, the Baron of Camerlata, stands ready to defend the castle with a hundred soldiers. A hundred well-armed soldiers? And with many powerful cannons. Yes, many powerful cannons. That's not the story we heard. <laughs> the Baron would like to avoid any unnecessary bloodshed. <laughs> you mean he wants to save his own fat neck? Go on, fool. How many more stupid fairy tales you're going to tell us? That's the truth. <laughs> anyway, that's what the Baron said. <laughs> My dear Beals, we are here in the name of the Baron to offer you a thousand gold coins. Sparkling gold coins. Ah, so according to your master, a Duchess of Spain and a castle are worth a mere thousand gold crowns? What Duchess are you talking about? You know very well what Duchess I'm talking about. Or perhaps a little torture will help refresh in your memory. Oh, no, no, no. She's not good. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting somewhere. Tell your stingy master that we are not after any of his money. That should make him happy. But he has one thing I do want. I'm waiting for you to tell me what the pirate said. Come on, men, speak up. Why are you staring at me in silence? I'm afraid the pirates don't want your money. What? Yes, they refuse the gold coins. Well. If it's not my money they're after, just what in the devil do they want? Yeah. From such a poor castle. They agreed to call off the siege if you comply with the demand's request. They're out of their minds. Now tell me, what do they want? A grace the Duchess. Duchess. <gasps> Are you crazy? No, we aren't, Baron, but their leader is. Poor Duchess. The pirate leader has learned somehow that the Duchess Katarina is staying at the castle and he demands oh. she be delivered to his men alone. Alone. That's right, and by midnight she must be on board. What? On a pirate ship? 
What will he gain? By this move. We heard from his men that he wants to keep her on board his ship as a valuable hostage to trade with the Emperor. I wonder what the Emperor has that these pirates want. Something pretty big to want the Duchess for a hostage. He didn't tell us. That's right, but he did promise our lives would be spared. You miserable, filthy snakes! Worms! How dare you return here and repeat such an insult! I admit it's an insult, Your Excellency, but you asked us for Nader's ultimatum. And while he is at the village awaiting your answer, his ship will fire on the castle every hour. Now is the hour! I'm willing to offer up my life to ensure the safety of Her Grace. Tell me, what can I do? But it's not you they're after. That's very noble of you. And if you're really willing to gamble with your life, you have to leave at once. And attempt to reach the Emperor, who, if my information is correct, is only one day's journey from here. But the castle's surrounded. Mm. Angela knows a way out. Tell my niece to come here immediately. She learned about that passage from her father, my brother, who told her the secret before he died. I heard everything. Thank you. I'm overjoyed to find out that I have at least one man of courage among my escorts. And for that, you may consider yourself a captain from this moment on. And if you ever come to Madrid, Captain, I hope that you will come and see me. My dear Lady Angela, I understand you know a secret passage that will lead us out of this impossible situation. Yes. If we escape, I'll be forever grateful to you. Thank you. Slide that stone away. Go down the winding staircase and turn right on the second landing. Follow the narrow tunnel and you will reach the open country. Two horses will be waiting for you nearby. Good luck. Have you ever seen this uniform before? No, it can't be from around here. That's what I thought. He looks like an officer in the Emperor's guards. If he is, he's probably staying at the castle with the Duchess. I heard your friend got away. Where did he go? I won't tell you. We have a pretty good idea. He's gone a long way for nothing. When the King arrives, I'll be aboard my ship. Go back to the castle. Tell him I want an answer within the hour. No, dear. A real pirate would have killed him. Uh, no. It would have been wrong to kill him. Now run. And greetings to Duchess Katharina.
Take the body to the castle. A fine lot you are. You're scared of your own shadows. One of the few men of courage in this castle gets killed, and you stand there like statues. I stopped at this castle because I needed a rest after my long journey. But I found myself exposed as a target to the pirate's cannons. I'm the Emperor's sister, yet no one protects me. But I did. Enough from you. You may be a hero, but just in Madrid. Because there you fight only with words. And you. Wait until my brother hears about this. The way you have failed him in guarding the coast. And more important, the way you have been treating me. And now you. You're a professional soldier. You should be out with your men instead of hiding in here. When I think that my brother had men like you in his army, it's a miracle how he won any of his battles. Oh, Duchess, what will become of us? Don't cry, my dear friend. We'll await our fate together, locked in our chambers. And leave only after we are rescued, or they shall find us dead by the poison this ring contains. To spare us the shame at the hands of the pirates. Poison? Oh, Your Highness, I prefer the shame. Oh! We are running out of time. Soon there will be another shot fired. And at the end of the hour they will attack. I must leave now to organize the defenses. My fight will eventually die either by the pirate's hands or by the emperor's hands. Huh. We shall live instead. I have an idea. Listen carefully. What did Nadir Eldin ask? That Her Grace the Duchess go alone on board his ship. Well, we'll send on that ship another woman, disguised as the Duchess, with a veil on her face. And since that renegade has never seen Her Grace in his life, this simple device will keep us alive until the arrival of the Emperor. Terrific idea. Oh, you Spaniards are extremely brilliant, extremely brilliant. <laughs> Thank you, Baron. Her Grace said I'm a hero at words. It's true. For often they win where cannons fail. Deception breeds wise politics. Do you really think it could work? Mm -hmm. If so, there's a hundred gold coins for saving my neck. Huh. Her Grace will give me more. You're one in a million. You've not only a brilliant mind, but a very courteous pocketbook. We're saved. But where shall we find the woman to send aboard the ship? Ah, the Marquise de Gretis. She's What? Left. The Marquise. We can't send her. She's Her Grace's lady in waiting. Whom shall we send then? There's no other lady in the castle. Oh. My dear Baron, you should apologize for your forgetfulness. There is another lady. The only other one that can worthily take the place of Her Grace, the Duchess Caterina. Your lovely niece, oh. Angela. What? Have you lost your mind? My dear Baron, Her Grace has pointed out that you are responsible for her life. Uh, I am. I admit it. You know that if Her Grace is harmed, the Emperor will have you executed. You mean hanged? Or burned alive. Angela de Carmelata will be the new Jeanne d'Arc of the Tyrrhenian Sea. who expects me to deliver you aboard his ship.
acid. Water. Water. Who sent you here? I thought you were a soldier of the captain. Nobody sent me. I heard there was a prisoner here. See what they've done to me. Those look terrible. I'll bring some medicine tomorrow night. Forget about tomorrow. Help me escape from here tonight. Are you sure you can walk? The soldiers are about, and if they catch us, we'll get killed. I must warn her, dear. Then I'll help you. Look, the key is over there. Take it and open the door. Hurry. Welcome aboard the ship of Nadir el-Din, Your Highness. This way, please. Make yourself comfortable, Highness. I've been looking forward to having you aboard my ship. What do you want with me? Oh, that can wait till later. The evening has just begun. And for the sake of this night, don't look so frightened or so angry. Quite safe. Don't touch me. As you wish. Perhaps you will find my hospitality too modest, but I'm not a very wealthy pirate. Two sheep and a cask of wine.
I can see you disapprove. But your contempt doesn't hurt my pride. What are you proud of, anyway? For denying your faith, of fighting under the enemy's flag, or of sneaking into ladies' chambers and telling them tales of love? Hey, you're far too well informed. <laughs> This looks familiar. Oh, Angela. I wasn't going to stab you. Why did you come in her place? Why did you come to the castle? Why? I'm looking for a man who must be somewhere along this coast. If I stepped ashore in that disguise, it was only in order to find him. I had no intention of abusing your hospitality. What about the Duchess? What has she got to do with it? Well, I'll tell you. A long time ago, a man destroyed my family. He did it in the name of Charles V. So the king and his family are just as responsible as he. That's why I wanted the Duchess aboard my ship. Stranger on board! Nadir el Din, we caught a wounded man trying to get aboard. Bring him in here. I thought you were dead. I will be in a few minutes. But I have no regrets because I know the long search has come. To an end. Our enemy is here. In the castle under the name of... Captain Nekaimonga. You can't die now. Vasco. Vasco, listen to me. You're the only one I have left. Too late for tears, brother. But well, you must promise me one thing. Carry out. Carry out your pledge. Revenge our family. Get the captain. Take our moon. May your death be justified. Vasco, my youngest brother. Another member of my family murdered by Hugo von Berg. You'll be taken back to the castle, Angela. Tell the men we attack at dawn. I plan a surprise attack on the pirates in the valley near the shore. Signal when you think their attention is diverted to open the gate and lead a Grace's carriage to the main road. Long live the Emperor! <laughs>
the gate. The road is clear. Let's go. You'd better pray we get out of this alive, but you're still going to pay for your stupidity. <laughs> Baron, without gunpowder. Hurry. That wasn't nice of him. I've done everything I could for that prissy cat, but a Viscount can't sympathize with our problems. Things are different in Madrid. They have money. They have power. But when it comes to poor barons, they lack all understanding. Find some horses. There's some just over the hill. Let's go. Come on, boys. My dear Angela, forgive me, but I was forced to send you aboard the pirate ship. I'm happy I went, and I've forgiven you. You're kind, but I'm concerned about you. You shouldn't be, for I was treated with respect that I never found here. I take your word for it, but you're still a girl of noble birth, and you did spend the night with Nadia Eldin. In the eyes of our people, you were a girl in disgrace. I don't care. No, child, listen, this is the wrong attitude to take. You must understand that after last night, you were considered no longer a girl, but a woman. And Captain Di Carmona, who is a gentleman, has asked me for your hand in marriage. I shall never be his wife, understand? Never. She doesn't want to. Angel, in this moment of distress, you should be honored to accept my name. Your name? Which name? I wouldn't marry you as Di Carmona or as the King Emperor. If you refuse my offer, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Your uncle will be forced to lock you in a convent. Be reasonable, my dear. But I am, as you can see. No, never. As you wish, Angela. Make your farewells. After the battle, you'll be shut off from the world forever. We'd better lower the drawbridge. The Duchess is coming back to the castle. It's impossible, Lieutenant. Are you sure it's her? Yes, I was standing watch. I'm sure it's her. I recognize the carriage. Those fools are heading right for the pirates. No, they're not. The pirates are still on the cliffs. We'll lower the bridge before they can find out. Hurry, Lieutenant. Another banquet this evening, Baron? Mmm. One boiled egg. Baron! Baron! Our gracious carriage is returning. I've seen it myself. She must have enjoyed her stay after all. I'll go and see the preparation. Idiots! But it's true. Go. Oh.
apologize. You fooled me. Under for my master. Now let me watch from your heavens and eyes.
good idea. Reinforcements are arriving. Yes, they are here. We are safe. The pirates have gone, Baron. The Emperor's here. We've won. We've won the battle. Yes, we won. I am, beloved sire. How come your cannons aren't firing on the pirates and at their ship? Here we go again. You see, sire, no gunpowder. My sword now, as always, is solely at the service of my emperor. The soldier brought me your message, Captain. I see I've arrived in time. You're safe. They've gone by. You're wounded. It's not serious. Here. Let me help you. It's only a scratch, but... Thanks for offering. Excuse me. What's the matter with you? My ship is about to sail. Without you? Maybe they think I'm dead. Or Tatum has taken his revenge. You can still be in time. I'll show you a secret passage. But you've got to hurry. What, and lose my chance to kill the captain? Better to lose the chance than your life. Your Majesty, you must forgive me for asking you to come, but it really wasn't my idea. You see, the Viscount of Gaul thought it advisable to ask for reinforcements, for the pirate attack had been so unexpected I hadn't had... With Time to provide gunpowder. You have talked too much and said too little, Baron. Forgetting the most important matter of all. Which is the whereabouts of my sister. Where is she? I can't tell you that, I'm afraid, Your Majesty. I, uh... Where is she? Her grace is in the hands of the pirates. Forgive the Baron. But he lacks the courage to tell you himself. It takes a real soldier like me to face the naked truth. We really don't know where the pirates have taken her. I can't understand how a pirate thinks. He went to all the trouble of getting me out of the castle, and now he keeps me here. You won't find the answer, Your Highness. Pirates are unpredictable, like the weather in March. I know Nadia better than both of you, and I don't understand him. First, he sends an ultimatum to have you delivered aboard his ship. What did you say? Nadir Odin actually wanted me delivered into his hands. Yes, but he was deceived like you. Lady Angela went in your place while you were locked in your room. So when Nadia found out, he attacked the castle. Poor Lady Angela, she was betrayed by her own people. A dastardly trick. I hope she's safe, but I should have been the one to go in the place of her highness. This has all the earmarks of one of your little schemes. Yes, Your Grace. It was my idea, but I did it to protect you and your honor. You did it the wrong way. I expect my honor to be defended by a sword, not by deception. This crime shouldn't go unpunished. Rosa, you would be doing me a very great favor by showing me the way to the castle of Camelata. But no buts, and we leave right now. He's the one responsible. If the Baron hadn't been so stingy, I would have had the proper arms to defend your sister. This is amazing, Captain. Why has the Baron been such an utter fool? Ask the Baron. Baron, why did you allow yourself to be attacked by the pirates? Allow myself. I didn't ask for their attack. It just happened, sire. That foolish remark, sire, shows you just what a weak spot this castle is in your coastal line of defense. Now, if this outpost were commanded by a real soldier... I'll never forget, Captain, that you were the one to chase the pirates away. It's in here. But be sure when you get to the end to mark the entrance so you'll be able to find it when you come back with your men. Angela, I promise I'll come back for you. I'll never see you again. Why do you say that? Haven't you any faith in me? I have nothing to offer you now, but I will someday. 
Angela, I love you. Won't you wait for me? Tell me. I can't. What's against us? Tell me, my darling. The captain has sworn to lock me in a convent. The captain? Is that how he'll punish you for turning him down? Yes. Today they're taking me away. No. I won't let this happen. What are you doing? You'll be caught. The king is here. I'll go to him and ask justice for both of us. Don't be afraid. Have mercy on us, my lord. I entrust my sword into your hands so that I may use it as an instrument of your justice. What do you propose we do about rescuing my sister? Nothing. Nadir al-Din will be caught within the hour. The castle is surrounded, and he is a prisoner within its very walls. And I can assure you that once we have him in chains, the pirates will be only too glad to trade the life of their leader for that of Her Highness. Captain Kamona, what are you waiting for? Actions speak louder than words. You no longer need to wait. I'm here. Capture him. <laughs> Wait! I ask your majesty to listen to me. I'm here of my own free will. Let him be. My sword is yours. I am Count Paul de Vicenza, and I accuse this man of being a murderer. Your majesty, I ask that you silence him. I won't be insulted by a pirate and in your presence. This man has all the right to be heard. Katerina, my dear sister, I was afraid the pirates had killed you. On the contrary, they were quite nice. Is this the reason why you're intervening in favor of this man? Forgive me, sire. I know I'm not supposed to interfere with your business. But what this pirate has to say concerns not only him, but you and the men who fight under your flag. An hour ago, while I was still a prisoner in the village, I learned he was a nobleman in disguise. Every crime this pirate has committed, including my capture, was done to avenge his family, who was cruelly murdered by someone who is hiding in this castle. Since Nadir behaved like a perfect gentleman, I'm inclined to believe him. Tell me your story, noble pirate, but make sure you can back up your accusations. I can, sire. This man who hides under a false name is really Hugo von Berg who has committed injustices and crimes in your name. He destroyed my entire family. His last victim was my brother. His Majesty, I'm sure, will never believe such lies. They are not lies. I was with Count de Vicenza on his ship when his brother died. He was held prisoner in this castle by the man you know as Captain de Carmona. Angela, was the prisoner Nadir's brother? Yes. He killed him. His soldiers tortured him to death. Why did you do it? What ties you to Hugo von Berg? I swear, I... If you don't tell the truth, Lieutenant, you'll be hanged. I can see your face holds the answer. Speak, you know the truth, and you must talk now. I want the truth. What they say is true. He is Hugo van Berg. They killed the old count and threw in jail the rest of the family. They all died there. He wanted to loot the De Vicenza castle. And then to protect himself, he forged your name on a military order. You'll be hanged if what you say is true. He's gone. He ran up those side steps. Nadir! Nadir! Let him go alone. This is his revenge.
God will give us justice. Board the ship. Might have been fun. We shall have another banquet. No, the next banquet will be for our pirate. One egg, one. The... Let's go, girls. <laughs> 